Hello, in this video I am going to discuss the Manage Your Project page. As soon as you sign in, the Manage Your Project page is displayed. It is the starting point for working with projects. The three main uses of the page are launching the creation of a new project, opening an existing project and viewing existing projects. On this page, projects are managed per client. To select a client, start typing the name of the client for example, Safaris. For each client, a name and a code is displayed. If you cannot see the client you are looking for, tick All and again start typing the name of the client. Note that inactive clients are now displayed as well, flagged as inactive. If the client you are looking for is inactive, do not use it. Refer to management to find out why it was changed to inactive and to reactivate it if appropriate. Note the DRI flag indicating that the client is a direct client. I means it was created by an internal user, E by an external user. If the client was created from a master client, this information will also be displayed. Click on the name of the client in the list to select it. For the client selected, the client, master and church of departure commission is displayed, as well as whether the client is on account or not. To launch the creation of a project, click Create a Project. This will open the new project page. If you know the reference of an existing project, you can just enter the reference and click Open. For a booking, enter the full reference. When you click Open, the project is opened on the Service Basket page. For a project, enter the first two parts of the reference, the client code and project number, and click Open. If a project has been confirmed as a booking, even if you enter the original project reference and click Open, the latest version of the booking will be opened. Only one person at a time can work on a project. If someone else is already working on a project you are trying to open, a message will be displayed. This project is currently updated by another user. If a reference is entered incorrectly, a message is displayed. This reference does not exist in our database. If you do not know the project reference, the easiest way to find the project is to search by end date. For example, if you know that the project is for June, enter 01 06 230 06 and click display. All the projects with an end date within that period will be displayed. Once you have identified the project, click on the reference to open it. If you know neither the reference nor the end date of a project, click on In From Today to display all future projects. Then work your way through the list until you have identified the project you are looking for. Use Next Page and Previous Page to move between pages, Last and First Page to jump to the end or the beginning. For a given range of dates, all the matching projects are displayed. Projects are displayed by order of date and then alphabetically according to the reference. This is a two-part reference consisting of the client code and project number or, for booked projects, a single alphanumerical reference. A red star next to a reference indicates that it's currently opened by another user. For each project, the heading is displayed. If the whole heading is not visible, hover the mouse over the heading for it to pop up. The country displayed is the country where the tour takes place. The office is where the project is managed. Requested by displays the name of the client contact. Created shows the date on which the project was created. Hover the mouse over the date to display who created the project and who and when last modified the project. 
some fields are only applicable for booked projects. CXD indicates yes if a booked project has been cancelled. Hover the mouse over the yes to display who cancelled the project and when. Confinfin indicates the dates on which the confirmation and final checks were done. INV indicates yes if there is a valid invoice for the project, UNI if the project is uninvoiceable. For clients not on account, paid indicates yes if payment has been received and no if payment is outstanding. Paid indicates ACK as soon as an invoice has been issued for a client on account, whether payment has been received or not. Click on the disk icon to save as the project. This function creates a new project that is an exact copy of the original project except for any bookings, rooming lists or invoices they may have been. The new project can then be used as is or amended. Clicking on the clock icon displays the previous versions of the project page. The previous versions of a project page displays all the versions of a project with the latest at the top and the earliest at the bottom. It is useful in resolving queries and it shows when new versions were created, which is to say when changes were made, as well as who the author of the changes were. It is not possible to open earlier versions, but it is possible to display the itinerary of those versions. Select whether to display package or detailed rates and click on the magnifying glass icon. Comparing the itineraries of different versions can provide answers about when specific changes were made to a project regarding content and price. And that is it. Thank you for watching.